What is up everybody and thanks for tuning in David's fish domain and we're at a another fish local fish store um, it's kind of called Splash Aquarium um, I've been here a couple times and it's pretty sick looking uh, they have a lot of different fish that I haven't seen in a while so um, let's come on in with me and let's go check out the fish All right, guys, and we're inside the entrance. Nothing but tanks and these koi fish. Some tanks. I got this skate guys. This tank is really nice looking. Wow, look at these. This looks like the best skate that I've seen so far. Alright, let's walk on in. Look at all these guys. Oh. Look at this flower. Look at this nuclear hump on him. Not for sale. I'm kind of looking for another flower horn, guys. Definitely looks nice. This guy's pretty cool looking, though. Some Oscars. Oh wow. A grade flower horn. Look at the coloration on them. Nice patterns. <coughs> Some plecos. Some glowfish tetras, some Remy nose, some cardinals. Oh, some red tail catfish. Look at this, guys. Oh, wow, what is that? I have no clue what that is. But I think I want it. What is this? I don't know. I'm sorry about the blurriness. There's not great lighting in here. But I don't know what that is though. I will soon ask and see what is this and maybe, if anything, I can bring it home with me. Oh, and Pyra, Barracuda. I miss having these guys. They're always so cool to have. Some flower horn hybrid. And some chocolate pleco. Some clown loaches. Some T pone tetras. Not for sale. Some King Kong parrots. And some. Solaris peacock masses. Tire track eel and a clown knife hiding behind there. 
Giardini Arowana. And a African lungfish inside. Some large Giardini Arowanas. Some silver Arowanas. And a Lima Chauvinons. These guys are pretty cool. Like someday and maybe like I wish like this is just like a nice starter place. Like it's nice and small, but um, you know, it's just jam-packed with nice looking fish. Um, like someday I kinda wanna shop like this. Nothing too big. Something like a mom and pop shop. Um, just to have. You know, the passion of being a fish hobbyist is, you know. I just want to start my own little aquarium. But look at this golden. Um, I forgot what it's called. I know it's nor. Oh yeah, uh, golden northern Thai datloid. He's a beast. Like I was really considering buying him like a long a while back. Such a great size, and look at his colors. There we go. That nice golden color. Oh, what is that? I have no clue what that is. Like red snook. Red snook. But bro, what is that? I have no clue. Yeah, like it's gonna be a dream to have something small like this. Like it's gonna be less maintenance. Um, you know, if by having a bigger um, area, a bigger store. This is the brackish water. Got some on the side, some Fantosas. Mudfin Tetras. So these are like probably the smaller uh, fish that we have here. And some planted, some water hair hyacinths. African tiger goliath. And some guppies with the planted Anubis. Oh, is this what I have? This is what I have. I believe this is the Florida softshell um, turtle. This is giraffeo. We have the same thing here. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Oh wow, look at this freshwater tarpon. Freshwater tarpon, 89.99. Oh. God, He's, the temptation is real. I kind of want to get him. Very nice selections. Oh man, I just noticed, like last time I was here, uh, this tank was, it had a albino silver arowana, and um, I guess somebody bought him.
but yeah, quite selections here. It's like very small selections here. It's just like all your nutrients and all your um, prime and stuff like that, and canister filters. And then we also have a couple of discus. These are very nice looking discus. Oh my lord. Alright y'all, are you ready for this? Check this out. Look at this jumbo clown loach. Not for sale, oh my lord. This is my dream clown loach. I wish mine can be this big. This is like straight up pushing like maybe six inches or so. My lord, look at that. Such a, I don't know why I'm so into clown loaches, but look at the size of this guy. God. And more discus. Just more discus. Doing great, thank you, appreciate it man. And we're at the koi area. Um, I'm about to grab some kois right now. This is basically self-serve, so I'm about to grab a net here and a bucket, and we're about to get some kois. Um, but let me see what selection is good. So, <clears throat> trying to see what's a nice looking koi to choose from. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, this guy is pretty cool, huh? Well, let me go get a bucket and fill it up with some water. Go catch some coins. That one, I Just like that. Just like that. We're just gonna catch a feel and put it in a bucket and then we're gonna choose from there. See him, he's so dark. Where did he go? Yeah, 
That guy's pretty cool. Alright, alright, alright. My side. Which one is it? That one right there? That guy? That's him, right? Right there? Alright. He came up to the top for you. I know. So, this guy right here? Mm -hmm. Small butterfly 2.2, small coin, 350. Two blacks are $30. Our small coins, 3 for 21. 5 to 6 inches. <coughs> I think this guy is pretty cool. Well, let's just catch what we think looks nice. That one? Wait, which one? That one? Yeah. Woo! Okay. No, guys are jumpers. Or these koi's are salmon because they jump exactly like salmon. This guy's like a tiger color looking. <coughs> yeah, that one's pretty. That one right there? Oh, no, no, no. How about that one? That one's nice. Wait, where did he go? Bam. Woo! Straight up like salmon. And just like that, disappeared. I kind of, like, I don't know why, but this guy is kind of like, I like, yeah, kind of looks like a little piggy. Piglet? Yeah, I think I, oh, there it is. Oh wow, 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 yeah, yeah, that guy. 
this guy definitely getting him for sure. Woo! <coughs> yeah. Wow. No, this one is super. Yeah, this one's a super keeper. Look at the sparkle on him. Sparkles. Yeah, he's definitely a keeper on that one. That's sparkle. Yeah, so basically that one right here, mm -hmm. that sparkly guy. And Piglet, because I already named him. You already named him? Piglet? Alright, Piglet. So... No? No to these two? Yeah. Okay. Got hey guys. This is a nice color too. You know that kind of looks like an island. It looks like a tiger. Like. Okay. <coughs> Have you seen it? This guy looks cool too. I don't know why. This I got. I know. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Coming to suicide. Do you see anything else? That one right there? Yeah. Check it out. I don't know. We'll see soon see. Looks pretty cool. Let's check him out. Yeah, well that's what I, I kind of want the tank to go and look for. Like I, I just want the tank to look more of a unique koi than more of a... Um, yeah, you know. Like common, like the common koi. Oh, look at this one. Yeah. Ooh, can't get off of me. Can't get. Yeah, that one's super nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just don't really like all of them, <laughs> tell you the truth. Like they all have nice markings in there. Like I love that because it's so sparkly. You know what? <coughs> no, look at the long that I like. Yeah. Look at this well, over time, um, oh, hill. Well, I, I really like that one too. And that. These guys are what, like at least. How much is one? At least. These guys are what three pushing three inches, three inches. So small poise. I'm guessing that twenty three for twenty one ninety nine for thirty, and then five to six inches. The bigger ones um, are twenty nine ninety nine each. Huh? I'm just gonna have to go get an estimate um, estimate on them, but these these guys are actually I, I kind of want to keep them all. Yeah, I'll definitely ask you. But um, let's just keep on looking just to make sure, because. 
This guy's cool too. Look at that guy. No. I know, but. Even that guy right there? Yeah. That's cool. Is that the one that we, I caught? No. No, he looks pretty cool too. when this is like manure moving everywhere mm, just like that guy back I kind of like what we have right now he is kind of cool looking though he's cool. this guy is so energetic Ooh, come on like look at his coloration Stick with ours. I know, only if we get a good estimate. If these guys are like over pushing over a bill, then uh, we might. We come back for you guys next month. Yeah, exactly. But as for now, um, definitely we're gonna keep the Mr. Sparkles. Um, of course, we're gonna keep Piglet and the long uh, thin ones yeah but wow I just love how that guy looks too mm -hmm. like he has that marking on his right eye mm -hmm. and then um, this guy right here is just, I like that target dog yeah like that target <laughs> dog and he, it's just he, he's so nice well alright guys I'm gonna get an estimate on this coys and um, I'll be right back on that <coughs> all right guys I decided to get all of the coys um, actually the worker here um, he actually gave me a great price for it so I can't pass off that offer but um, while I'm waiting on that um, here's a good startup nano tank um, for a reasonable price too uh, look at how these Splash Aquarium guys, like when you're in Sacramento area, come check these guys out. Like look at these giant driftwood. Like this is a it's like I feel like this is like a nice mom and pop shop um you know place where it's not too big but it's just like just enough. Like there's my koi fish. He's gonna hook me up with. Um, look at these tanks. Wow, salt water. This is a nice salt water tank. Tiger mooring eel. Oh, 
this is why I want <laughs> this is why I want to um, salt water so I can get a lion fish I'll probably get one of those you know a dwarf lion fish so it doesn't outgrow my tank but like all these crushed cor corals <coughs> yeah guys like come ch come check this place out this place is like awesome look at this tank it's a nice display tank look at this gotta have that lucky cat Oh, look at this little tiny nano tank. Oh, with that little Asian arrow. Wanna. I need to get me some of these. Look at that. Gotta rub it for good luck. You know. Sun sp Splash Aquarium, guys. Come visit this place. Look at this. And here is the koi's. Packed and ready. Alright, let me pay for this and I'll see you guys out there. And we're inside the fish domain. And I have my kois. I'm about to put them and acclimate them. Such a big bag. Splash Aquarium, guys. Much appreciate. Oh, big boys here. Put them up here and let them acclimate. Hopefully it's not gonna overflow. Nope, looks good. Alright, let the acclimation begin. These guys are ready to go in. All right, I'm going to give them at least maybe 25 minutes or so to acclimate. Sorry about the glare. Um, and then after that, I'll release them to their new homes. Until then, I'll see you then. What's up, guys? It's about maybe 35 minutes for the acclimation process. Um, I kind of let them stayed a little bit longer since it's a bigger bag but they should be ready to go in the tank so um, let me get this big bag out of the way Ooh. Ooh. I usually like to save these bags because you never know when you need them like the small bags, I usually just rip them up, but these big bags is very big and uh, durable. So I like to save them just in case I need to like transfer any other fish that's pretty big. Um, go ahead and check out these guys from here. Nice. All right, so. I'm gonna get my handy dandy net and get them one by one. So check out this guy, Piglet. Ooh. Gonna go in here. That's nice coloring, it's like a tigerish color. Wow, it looks pretty cool. His fins are kind of like a little bit messed up, I think, but you know what? Give it time and he'll heal up nicely. Oof. Check this guy out. A 
I like that spot on his eye. Ooh, these guys are jumpers for sure. And here's the white one. Last but not least, this guy right here. Let's get a wide view of it. So I decided to make this 55 gallon a koi tank. Just to have something different. I can always throw them in my pond if anything. Um, but as for now, I just want something nice to look at, um, that's something different, but so far so good, it looks great. And thanks again to um, Splash Aquarium, really hooked me up on these koi's. Definitely going to go back. Um, to pick up some more. Great selection. And what's best of it um, is I get to catch it myself. So that's pretty cool. It's like a self serve koi catch. All I need to do is to get like a little backdrop, like a black backdrop but yeah guys um, this is probably the end of the video thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video if you guys want more posting uh, ring the note notification bell to get notified for my next video until then I'll see you guys on my next video alright guys take care